All right, holy cow, we've got more Lufia the Legend Returns involved here. Uh, let's hop right in, uh, continue. Uh, I'm willing to bet that was the one we were working on. I don't think, yeah, we're, we're in the cave where, uh, Day, Dia, I'm gonna go with Day, uh, Day left us. So, we're gonna have to fight our way back through. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm a little tired. Uh, so before I get to where I think Day ran off to, I am going to, well first of all, clear out some more of this and see if I can get some more of those special moves. I can't remember what they're called specifically. IP skills, something like that. Let me check. The ancient texts. Yeah, the IP skills. Although, I guess right now they would be stuck in scroll form because nobody has learned them yet. Uh, need some green abilities for that. You already have that. First aid. Am I all the way down? No, cooking. You can have that. Concentrate. I think MAP is like your maximum attack power. Or something to that effect. So I'll give that there. And that's all of them. Oh man, being tired sucks. Ugh. Alright. Hopping back in. I guess I'll fight you. Don't really feel like it's worth it to fight the system and avoid you. Uh, although you are not yielding much for experience anymore. Alright, cool shit. I know that there are some other optional boss fights coming up. And I want to make sure that I'm ready for them when they come up. Because I'm at the point now where... You know when you have a, a game you really enjoy and you're going to remember a lot of everything that happens? But you're not going to remember everything or every little detail? I know some things happen, but uh, I'm not 100% certain on the timeline. So I want to be prepared for when they show up. The, the events in question. Right, Jesus Christ, come on guys, so many enemies in one room, I've already cleared this area, I'm just going through it as a formality, and I keep having that same issue with using the joystick where I, I don't know, I seem to be going just a little farther than I want, or going in weird directions, like I tried to go left there and he went down. But, uh, if anything, that'll just put a little bit of a challenge on this game, I know fairly well. Because, uh, in, under those grasses, as we've seen in previous episodes, there are traps. And, uh, sometimes the traps are not- ooh, Jesus Christ. Uh, just punching things off, uh, off to the side there. Uh, traps are quite often not very nice. Uh, if you're trying to go up somewhere, uh, they can drop pitfall traps, so you go back down a few levels. <clears throat> they can also, uh, the one I really don't like are the status ailment, uh, ones. Specifically ones that knock you to sleep or paralyze you. Because that actually affects your model, you know, in the, uh, out of fight scenario. So I will be paralyzed until I'm no longer paralyzed, and things get to move in until they're able to, you know, touch me and initiate a fight, and if the fight initiates while I'm asleep or paralyzed, we all go into that fight, asleep or paralyzed. And when you're fighting something at the higher levels where they're just kind of trying to beat you down because they can, it's, uh... They make you know. They they let you know that they're trying to beat you down. Was I going up? My bad. I'm trying to figure out which which one it was that gave me my map. There it is. Alright, so this is the one I want. Cool, I'll have a fight, but then we'll go back up. I'm going to try to make these episodes a little longer than just 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to space that out per se, but I'll figure something out. Why do I keep hitting start? I need a 
I need the Y button is what I need for this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Usually in these big rooms, uh, they'll have the... Sometimes you'll, you'll spawn in and like the stairs will be in the same area as you. Other times they'll actually just be like right next to where you started. Uh, you know, random dungeons, they'll do random things like that. But in a large map where you can't see all the floor on, or a large section of the map where you can't see that entire floor plan in one sitting, sometimes it helps to uh, double check rather than fight your way through monsters just to realize it's not even there in the first place. Alright, so I'm going to bypass this village because I think that's where Day went to to hide and I think there's going to be a boss fight after that. <clears throat> so, if that's the case, I'm going to go back to that uh, high level area that things were kind of, you know, beating me senseless for a little bit. I think it was back around here, over here, and it was tied to this area. Uh, because I just want to be able to cakewalk the boss. And the boss gets into uh, one of my favorite uh, people to hate uh, in this game. And I wouldn't say he's my favorite. Like there, there are some people later on that are just total asshats, and it's fun watching them, you know, get what's coming to them. Uh, this is one of those guys that it's fun to just see get what's coming to him. Alright, I want to be able to heal my people. Whoa! Whoops. Alright, there we go. I can't use strong? I have no magic? That's a problem. Let's, uh... Let's get some of these magic pots in on that action. Magic pot saves the day. Alright, some potions. <clears throat> alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna save here because I'll be honest guys, I am probably gonna die. Because I am quite capable of not knowing my limits and being like, no, I got this. I got this. And I don't got this. So, part of the reason I'm actually playing this uh, this old dungeon crawling RPG, first of all, it is one of my favorites on the uh, Game Boy Color, and I realize its story isn't exactly, you know, oh, super well written or deep and awesome. It's just one of the ones I grew up with that I really loved. But, uh, let's go with that, some magic. Is this? Yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, but, I'm sure you've picked up on the fact that I'm super excited that it's going to be happening. Uh, dot hack gu. I saw it and I still fell for it. All right, uh, is getting a remake, and <clears throat> I am super excited for that. Uh, and dot hack is also a dungeon crawling game. Like it's the gu one has a lot more, at least in the combat side, a little bit more of an action game feel to it. But at the end of the day, it is emulating, oh my god, a uh, the MMORPG-like kind of, in a way, sort of experience. Uh, I think the first one did a lot better at emulating that experience. But it is still, at its core, a dungeon crawler. And so, kind of just getting myself in the mood for uh, some of that. Because that's coming up next month, and there will be a lot of that. And it's just one of those games that I am excited to share with people. Alright, let's keep the magic going. Weren't these things a lot harder, and it was only like a few levels ago? It's like the power scaling is pretty massive. Alright. Okay. Mm. Not nearly as enjoyable full of that. Alright. Oh, that. Yeah, that, that was one of those uh, pitfalls. On the plus side, I'm actually at a spot where I'd be going down. Alright. Beat you to death. Because you're nowhere near as threatening as you used to be. Although you guys are still giving out some pretty good experience. So, this whole grind session, not a waste. 
but yeah, uh, the the dot hack series. Uh, looking forward to it, and like I said, there will be a lot of that going on. Uh, so, some of the things we've been doing that uh, may have slowed down a little bit. Uh, probably gonna slow down even more to make way for like I don't know dot hack month. Uh, what else we're we gonna go with there? Uh, kind of using this as a point to try to inform you guys on some things that are going on. Uh, oh, uh, we have uh, a lot of animal videos that you know people people like on our channel that people stop in and they see you know looking at Quinn's Quinn's pets and how he cares for him and all that stuff. Uh, we haven't been able to record a lot for. God dang. What the hell? This controller just really messes with the mechanics. Being all that weird sensitive. Uh, anyways, those videos for the pets. Uh, haven't been able to get to a whole lot of those. Not quite sure when we'll be able to. Uh, we, we like doing them. I, we want to do more of them. But... It's the kind of thing that does take a lot more time and energy because you have to, if you if you really want to get a, a good session, you kind of have to wait for a moment with uh, with the animals when they're more comfortable for the kind of setting you're putting them through uh, when doing a recording video with them. Uh, we did one with uh, Quinn and his corn snake cage, and the corn snake had just eaten. Uh, it had also been kind of rowdy recently. Uh, and, you know, some people have made some comments about that one. It's like, ah, eh, whatever. It's... Uh, sure. Ouch. Uh, anyways, it's... You, you know, if you... If you put this, the animals in an uncomfortable position, they're gonna act... Out. Because that's what things do. It's like... Dealing with children. You have children, you put them in an uncomfortable position... They're... Ooh, crackbuster. They're gonna act out. So, we have to wait and do things on the animal schedule, and because there's two of those. Uh, and because we've been so busy, and particularly Quinn, uh, I've gotten a promotion recently, but that hasn't changed anything on my end or schedule. Quinn, on the other hand, has uh, been moving up in his uh, place of work, and that is resulting in him having less and less time and trying to balance that especially because they're not keeping it consistent in any way it's uh, a lot of we need you these times these times and these times and he's getting more hours you know he's but it's it, it's continually on the rise which is not a bad thing it's just you know hard to predict so between him not having any time, and he's the one who likes to do the animal videos, uh, as far as being involved, you know, they are his pets, they're his babies. Uh, it, it, it's hard to get that moment where he has time to dedicate to a video, but also to have the animals be in a position where they're calmer and more able to be dealt with in that kind of scenario so that's why we haven't been able to get to any of the animal videos recently uh, however like I said we when things settle down when things get to be in a more you know predictable state we'll be doing more of those uh, I think we've got a few new ones that we could show off uh, particularly some of the uh, spoders I'm pretty sure he's gotten a few of those since uh, we last did anything on that. Let me heal myself, use some of that magic. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'd, I'd love to be able to do more of those. And I'll, that's where I'll leave that one off at. Am I supposed to be going up or down? Basement 3. Basement, oh, I fell through. Okay, I think I fell through a pit and didn't quite catch on, so I came to a staircase and it threw me off. There's me falling for those traps again. As I said, they're a thing, and they're annoying, and so I just have to 
take the ass whooping until it's done. Alright. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue-tied here. Push on through. I want to get to the end of this one. Uh, just know that it's something I could do at this point before I push into another area. Because there is a harder uh, one of these dungeons that I'll go to next. However, I don't think I'm up for uh, clearing that one out. I think that's one where I'm going to go in and see if I can even kill the first thing I come across. Because uh, I doubt it. But I'm going to use it kind of as a marker to test where I'm at. Alright, you know what? Okay, I was going to see if you were going to rush me, but it didn't happen. Skelly man didn't, uh, didn't want to fight to the death. Alright, potion, I'll take that. There we go, and get some magic flash. Spark, spark hits both just in case for some reason I don't kill her. There we go. And sparky spark. Alright. And she's already like, I think when she leveled up she had like 800 to go. She's almost halfway again. Alright, gold 100. We're getting a lot of gold. Like, just, you just sell that and it gives you, I think, what it's worth as an item's worth of money. Which is kind of interesting. I kind of like that. It's like, uh, you found a gold brick. I mean, sure, you could barter with a gold brick, but it has more value as, you know, trade and currency as the coin in which people tend to trade in. It's kind of a little economic thing that I don't think was necessarily as intended. They just didn't want to put a monetary value to random items you'd get in a chest like that. So they were just like, hey, let's have a 100, 500, and a 1,000. Ah, uh, man. They might even have a 10,000. I don't recall if they did or didn't. Alright, so beat you and you strong just because I think you guys are going to hurt. Oh! Came out on top with that one, but uh, definitely in need of healing. Alright, and magic strong. She heals herself entirely with strong, and probably would do the same for the main character it looked like. I saw that was at least 80 something. I didn't catch the, uh, the second digit. Didn't pay that close of attention. Alright, skeleton lady. Skeleton lady. I'm gonna flash this one. Just working my way down. Ooh. Ouch. Things are starting to hurt a little bit. Alright, I want to beat you back. Grab that. Check my map. See if it's on this area. And if not, I'm gonna keep going down. Alright, I know she's wounded and I haven't healed her. Uh. She's going to have to deal. There we go. Get that. And, oh, okay. Turned and I thought, oh, are they going to make a beeline to me? Didn't quite happen. This one I have some problems with. Let's give you a free pass. Beat you back. Beat you back again. Yeah, okay. That worked out fairly well. Shit. Okay, uh, he definitely has to use an item on her, uh, because she is just hurting. And I didn't pull back fast enough to, uh, to not continue walking. Right, okay, that was a thing, but, uh, high potion, what now? Not enough to kill either thing, holy cow. Alright, she hit that one, I think, pretty well. So let's fight you. And then flash the skeleton lady again. Alright, you're gone. And you should follow, right? There we go. Alright, double check this. And take a left. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with your crazy bullshit. There you go. You can just keep on walking. God, this is a deep dungeon. 
Bam. And I'm also not finding a whole lot more of those uh, ancient scrolls or whatever they're called. Which is a sh ooh, which is a shame because they do uh, they give me some goodness. They give me some new abilities. Some a town. Yeah. See. They give me some attacks that uh, could help in the upcoming boss fight. Some of these I don't remember, and I don't know if that's because, hey, I never got them, or I never used them, or, you know, wherever in the system that falls on. Man, but it's, uh, I think, I think it was that Crusher thing uh, I got recently, I just didn't recognize the name of. Let me see what it takes to use that. Oh, investigate. I bet that's going to give me some, uh, yeah, their, their stats. Nobody can use it. Crack Buster, vertical attack, damage times two, can't use it. So I bet those are things that are going to be uh, days when we get him. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't caught on, he's going to be somebody that's more than likely going to, hey, follow us. He's going he's gonna to be our next party member, because that was our whole purpose for leaving our little... The archi no, Archipelago is a series of islands. I don't, I don't know what to call that. What our little island, not island, our little corner piece of the map was. It wasn't even like a peninsula or anything. It's just a corner landmass, I guess. So it looks like a boss could be here at some point. It's not right now, which I don't get. This was an optional area, I thought. I didn't think there was anything here that was required to be done. Let me check these while I'm here. All right, no items. So I thought I thought there would be something down there. I really did. All right, guys, I'm gonna climb up through this system uh, and probably uh, let the camera go. Either fast forward, cut it out, but. Uh, We'll do something with it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you'll be back for the next one.